Now, Bobby, are you still upset about Paula leaving you for Michael Hutchins? No, no, not at all. In fact, I've completely forgiven the double-crossing, two-timing, backstabbing, peroxide-crazed, ill-mannered, badly-dressed, home-wrecking, foul-mouthed, tawdry little bitch and her obnoxious, incoherent Australian hasn't made a decent record since Listen Like Thieves, leather pants-wearing, Jim Morrison plagiarising, dickhead of a boyfriend who, as far as I'm concerned, can jump into Johnson's aeroplane and piss off. Uh, you know, it's it's all in the past. Forgive and forget. That's my motto. Now, why did you decide to return to Ethiopia? Well, I just needed cheering up. You know, a distraction from all that depression back home. Right. And how did the locals take to you? Well, the first thing they said when they saw me was, Christ, mate, when was the last time you had a decent feed? Right. In fact, they were quite shocked by my appearance, and they've all rallied together to organise a benefit concert for me called Bob Aid. Uh-huh. And their aim is to, by the year 2000, completely eradicate this ridiculous facial hair I've been sporting for the last five years. Right. Was it a moving experience for you, revisiting Africa? It, it was, in fact. There was this one moment which I think will stay with me for a long time. I, I went into a small hut where a family of 12 are living in appalling conditions. And this one young boy who could barely speak just looked up at me and with all his strength he said, when are you going to do another I don't like Monday? Really? Naturally, I punched his lights out.